It's Shiny Sparky here, welcoming back to more Final Fantasy VI. So last time we finally escaped the Magitek the facility, sorry. But, um, it was pretty hard, definitely was. And I died once. But anyways, what the hell, there's encounters here? I don't know that. Alright, um, let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and just, no, just attack. No, not steal, attack. You have to use a Bio Blaster. And then you have to use... What the hell can you use? I mean, just blitzing or something? I don't know. Yeah, use blitz. These guys are... Oh, shoot. Okay, just auto now, seriously. Because I can kill them before they kill me. It's fine. And then I'll just get some cures off, off screen, you know? Or just after the battle. But probably on screen. Oh my god, how much HP do you guys have? Are you serious? Dude. I've done like 400 damage to you all. Yeah, please kill them. Oh my god. Okay, this thing better kill them both. Please. Oh, what? Dude, they have like 500 something HP, only saving can one shot them. Alright, so. We are about to fight yet another boss, yes. They decided, you know, Square Enix decided to just make a freaking boss montage out of nowhere. So. We gotta deal with that, unfortunately. Also, this boss isn't too hard if you know what the hell you're doing. So. Hopefully, everything goes well, though. Let's just go. Follow this damn trail. The railway. No more encounters, please, because. Oh my god. Okay, screw that junk, man. Seriously. So here we got a cutscene. It's Setzer. You were taking too long. I got worried. Where's Sellys? She's gone, man. She's gone. We can talk about it later. Let's get out of here. Yeah, this place is pretty dangerous. Let's go. God, what a mess. Oh no, what are you doing, Kefka? You're not getting away from me. What? You're still after us? You got Sellys back? Actually, where the hell did you guys go? I don't even know. Like, Sellys just teleported you out of nowhere. And the soldiers. Okay, so there are two cranes here. And, uh, yeah, you will see. We better not overstay welcome. Let's get out of here fast. That probably would have been a good idea. But it seems we're a bit too late. Here they come. What? Oh no. Oh Jesus. Whoa, what are those? So we gotta fight them. These things are the cranes and yes, we are, uh, well, pincer attack pretty much. However, um, what you want to do here is kill one immediately because they're going to like be uh, attacking each other and like buffing each other up and healing and whatever and it's kind of BS so you have to be very fast. I'm going to use drill on this one. Let's just see how much damage you do though. Alright, that's pretty good. It only has 1800 HP so it's actually not that much. You can go ahead and attack and then you- oh, I can't blitz because you're going to attack randomly and I, I need you to attack this- oh no, oh no. Okay, that's fine. Just hurry up please. There we go. Just a few more attacks will do it. Oh no. Jesus. Ah, uh, don't worry. It always happens like once. But now... Oh shoot! Don't... Okay, whatever. That's fine. Just kill it, please. Alright, there we go. That's one down. See? The battle is quite simple if you know what the hell you're doing. Now what I need to do with a lock is hurry up and, um... Well, heal up before I die. The one on the right side has, I believe, 2300 HP. So, just a heads up. It has a bit more. Okay, you need to get, um... Actually, I think I can steal some stuff from you guys, but... Oh, no. Oh, my God. Um, yeah, did I say steal? I meant cure. Yeah, let's cure right now before I freaking die here, so... Just to be safe. And also... Damn it, Sester's not gonna... Oh, well. Whatever. Oh, wait, what the hell? Shoot, I keep... I shouldn't be doing that. I'm being dumb here. Oh, no. That's what I get. That's what I get, people. That's what I get for using attacks that are going to heal you, you know? Um, I guess I just got to use Raging Fist. Okay, because there's only one. What am I doing? I'm so dumb. I like IK. I'm going to beat you anyways. Raging Fist. Ha! Huh. Wait, you're still alive? Are you freaking kidding me, man? Oh my god. Uh, I got some cures. And just auto now. Raging Fist will get you. I don't care. I have two characters dead, but at this point, I... Since I messed up by giving you a burning fist for Sabin, well, it's my fault, so just hurry up and kill him. There we go. 
Locke learned Kira finally, thank God, Jesus. That took a lot longer than it should have. Alright, so we're gonna go all the way back to Zozo, I believe. There we go. Oh no, somebody just turned on a machine in the background. The lawnmower or something. I'm worried about Terra. Let's go back to Zozo. Okay. Terra? Who's that? I'll explain everything on the way. Terra, the Espers, the Returners. Alright. Oh no. Are the windows closed? Let me see. Yeah, they are, but unfortunately I'm pretty sure it's going to be heard a bit. That sound. So yeah, like I said, we're going all the way back to Zozo. Here we are. Let's land, and we get a scene, so the good news is that we can just go all the way back over here, you know, without actually traversing. We just get warped here. Terra! Hmm, what could be happening here? What's going on? The Magisite! Father? I remember now. I was raised in the Esper world. So some flashbacks here in the Esper world. The Esper world. Alright. So, I got some control here. Ooh, what am I gonna do? Well, I need to get- wait a minute, can I- can I sleep in here? No, I can't. Alright, so let's just get out of here, out of this freaking building. And I am outside. So this might be weird, you know, coming out of nowhere. And oh my god, that machine is getting so annoying in the background. It seriously is. You gotta be kidding me. It's gonna be picked up by the microphone so much. Alright. I'm gonna go up north over here. And talk to someone. You. Who could this be? Hey, put yourself together. Wait, is this a... Return with her? Leave with her. I'm gonna go uh, return with her. So what could be going on here? I don't know. What's that freaking sound? God, it's so annoying. Just neighbors, you know? Alright, so... Let's go and talk to her now. Hello? Did I wake you? You're an Esper? What's this pendant around your neck? I'll give it to you. A charm from the Esper world. The Esper world. So that is where I ended up. Everyone is at a loss as to how you, a human, could have made it into our world. You're the one who saved me, right? My name is Madeline. I was sick of living in a human world. It's nothing but a vortex of greed and hate. So I wandered out into the storm, and before I knew it, I was here. They say that humans and Espers can't coexist. So, you don't want me here, right? No, I'm just not sure. I'll return to my own world tomorrow. Alright. Some someone can show you the way back. Hmm, who could this Madeline be? Alright, so we get control again. Let's uh, get out of here. Go back and outside again. Oh, hello, who's this guy? That human already left. Oh really? That was quite fast. This guy right here looks like freaking Kelger from, <laughs> oh my god, Final Fantasy V. What's wrong, Madwin? Hmm, okay, let's keep going then. So, what are we gonna find here? I don't know, ooh! If you don't want to go back to your world, you're welcome to stay here. But, humans and espers can't be together. How can we know for sure unless we try for ourselves? Alright, this guy just got some magical powers and started started flying. Okay, this is weird. Unless we... Try for ourselves. Oh my god. This is so weird. Actually, it's very important to see these things if you want to know Terra's, you know, origin. I've chosen a name for her. What is it? Terra, it's beautiful, isn't it? Two years later. So yeah, 
Basically, Madeline and Maduin, or whatever, are the parents. The nexus between our worlds has opened again. This storm is just like the, just like the one two years ago. But this is different from the time Madeline came here. This time, an army has come seeking our magical powers. Man, these stupid soldiers, they ruin everything. This is no good. Retreat to the Elder's house. Too many soldiers. They're getting us. Oh no, who's this old guy? No, it's Gestal. Aha, I finally found it. After all that time spent decoding the secrets of those ancient texts, now it's time to reap the rewards. Grab them. Riches to any man who captures an Esper. Go! Alright. Well then, what are we gonna do? Oh man. I'm just gonna go ahead and walk southwest over here. Hello? How are you? We have no choice. We must do what we've been avoiding. You mean, the magic barrier? Alright. I'll create a tempest to sweep all the invaders out of our realm. Then I'll seal the gate. Even among espers, the power to create a magical seal is limited to a single bloodline. I am the last of that line. But at your age, I may not survive, and without me you will never again be able to open the gate. Madeline. The other world holds nothing for me. Then it's decided. We have no other choice. Okay. Well, we gotta go. This is all because of that human woman. Nonsense. She could have loved in here for all- yeah, two years later? Like she was gonna plan something for two years? Enough. No, she's one of them. It'll only be a matter of time before she decides she wants our power too. Oh no. She's running, she's running. Shoot. Where is she? Where is she? Where did you go, damn it? Am I going the right way? Oh shoot, I'm not. What the hell am I doing? Um. Yeah, this way. Left. Where could she have gone? She went too freaking far. Well, not over here. What about this way? I mean, it's gotta be this way, you know? Um. Honestly, I have no idea if I'm going the right way. Well, here's the other building. That's not my place, though. What the hell? Or, I mean, it was my place, I should say. From before. Oh, I gotta go over there. What the hell? Oh, that's the Ember. Um, no, 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 no. Actually, wait, where the hell? I thought I was supposed to find Madeline, not... Um... Not Gestal. I must be thinking of... Ooh, a pot. I mean, I guess I can just be exploring stuff too, you know? It's, it's whatever, though. Just exploring, exploring, being a dumbass, I don't really care at the moment. Just showing you this beautiful world, even though we're currently under attack, you know? But, I'm just walking around. Okay, I think it's enough of this. No, it's because I actually thought I had to find Madeline, but apparently it's just talking to Gestel then? Alright, whatever then. Whatever. Let's go all the way north and talk to you. Where are you going? Madeline, she... Oh no, but it's already too late. What? I don't care. Alright, gotta go then. Got to go. Where's Madeline? We're being pushed out. Yes, get out of here. Get out. No! Just when, the, just when the ultimate treasure was within my grasp. Nope. You can't do anything. Too bad. Too bad for you. Ha! Huh. Let's keep going north. Where's Madeline? Oh no, here she is. Madeline, I'm not like them. I know. Thank you. Would you come back home with me? Yes, of course. No! Tarot's gone! Oh shoot! Madeline! Oh my god. A human woman? Who- whose child is this? 
Leave my daughter alone. Your daughter? Hmm, then she must be half human and half... How fascinating. Mwahaha. <laughs> it looks like my dreams of building an empire may come true sooner than, I've ever, than I'd ever imagined. No. Quiet. What? You just knocked her out? This world will be mine to rule. Ha ha ha. How dare you, Gestal? How dare you? Well, we learn her origin story. Father? I'm the daughter of an Esper and a human. That's why I have these abilities. But I should be okay now. I can control this power as long as I could as I wait. As long as I only use oh okay, and short birds, yeah. Gestal already knew the secret of the Esper's power back then. Those Espers in the research facility must have been the ones to grab that day. And Celis's power came at the expense of one of them. But the Empire won't get away with this. I'll hit that Emperor with a blitz or two. Yeah, you know, a couple raging fists, you know, in the mouth. Should do it. How are things in Narsh? Hmm. Maybe we should we should head back and see. Yeah. We probably should. The airship's ready to go. Okay. Cool. Come on. So Terra's okay now, apparently. And that's a good thing. Oh. By all means, take a turn at the wheel. Let me teach you how to fly. Yes, we finally get control. Slide up to move forward. Change course by sliding left to right. And just altitude with the up and down buttons. Okay. Tap the airship button to get back in the ship. Once inside, you can change party members and purchase items. The downward pointing arrow appears over the airship when it stops. You can disembark by tapping the ship while the arrow is displayed. To board the ship, tap it. Okay, cool. Got it? Yes. Um, what special techniques? Tap the navigation map to enlarge... Oh, I already knew that. Okay. Okay. If you tap and hold, interesting. The problem is I can't do that with the controller, though. Sliding in the state moves the airship in one of eight directions without changing the direction it's facing. This is especially useful when trying to land. I see. Alright, let's do it. Let's do it, damn it. Who do I have in my party? I'll just go ahead and change it in a bit. For now, I'm okay. So here we go. Alright, so basically, let's see, this makes us go up. Up some more. Makes us go down. Um, I'm just trying to get reacquainted here. Alright, there we go. And then fly. Interesting. Alright, so flying with A and then going down and left and right. It's so weird. I mean, it's a lot different than any other Final Fantasies we've played so far in terms of controlling stuff. Alright, so let's just go. Now, what the hell does B do? Never mind. What is... Okay, that just brings us... Yeah, that brings us back. Interesting. Take the wheel. Yes, let's fly again. Alright, so our goal is Narsh, of course. So, we gotta go there. To Narsh. What the hell am I doing? I'm taking the weirdest freaking course ever, alright? Seriously. Can't even control this junk. Oh my god. I am... How do you... Oh. Head for Narsh, Kubo. Okay, sure I will. Where's Narsh? Here it is. This little place. Let's go ahead and land here. Land! Okay. Dude! Dude! Okay. There we go. So... You know, I should actually... Hmm. Actually, am I good for now? The thing is, I don't think there's any battles to be fighting right now, is there? I'm pretty sure I'm good with all that stuff, so... Yeah, I'm alright, I guess. I'm just gonna go into the save, though. You know what I should do is get abilities, too, and get a cure from lock. Oh, wait, I'm... Two KOs? Oh my god, you know, I should just heal then. I need a heal. Damn it. Let's do a save. No, not a quick save. I said a save. Okay, there we go. That's fine. We're done. Let's go here. So, I have to go to the freaking inn. If there's an inn in here. Oh, no. Okay, we've been waiting. Yes, thank you. Oh, 
What's going on? Oh, you're here. The people of Narsh have finally decided to fight the Empire. How did things go in Vector? I explained everything, right? Pretty sure. I see. We've been trying to work out a plan to make use of Narsh's resources and Figaro's machinery, but we just don't have enough troops to storm the Empire. We have to open a sealed gate. Okay. Terra. The gate to the Esper world? Apparently so. We'll never beat the Empire without their help. The seal gate lies to the Empire's east. When we open it, the Espers can attack from there while we launch an invasion from the north. An attack on two fronts. We must re-establish the bond of trust that once existed between humans and espers. The espers must be made to understand, and there is only one among us who can make them. And yes, it is of course Terra. If humans and espers were truly incompatible, I would never have been born. I guess that's a good point. I'll do it. I'm the only one who can. Yes, finally Terra decides to help, you know, a good amount here with us, yes. So, this is going to get very interesting. Alrighty. Well, that's pretty much it. I mean, we got the scene. And I guess I should probably end the video here, but... I need a heal too, you know? How do I heal? Can I, can I use this bed over here? Actually, there's no bed. What am I talking about? Sorry, I thought I was in the other building. There should be a healing point somewhere though, like seriously. I need to be able to heal somewhere. I just can't find it, you know? Wait, what the hell? Where am I? Why am I always in weird places all the time? Like seriously? Why? No clue. No freaking clue. How the hell do I... Didn't I just... Um... Oh, there we go. So let me see, where can I heal? I need to find a place to um, rest up here, but apparently there, I mean, there's items there which I could probably buy. By this point, I have a lot of money, so it's actually pretty good to be doing this. Got some high potions, sure, I'll go ahead and buy um, four. Heathers, whatever, Phoenix Downs, I need to get five. Just so I have ten, green cherries. Tens, I have six, that's okay. All right, that's good. Good enough for now. And um, Apparently no healing place, which means I have to go to another town to actually do- Oh, here it is. I knew it was somewhere, man. I knew it. 200 gil? Oh my god, that's kind of a lot. But, let's rest, sure. Alright. So, we're done here, and... I guess I will end the video. Yeah. Let's just go back and I guess in between I'm gonna go ahead and re-equip myself and everything, you know, with Esper's a good party and uh, relics and stuff, just to see what what the hell I can do because I can probably do a lot by this point. So thank you for watching. Goodbye, everybody, and until next time.